This is a Game Caviar production. Whoa! Yeah. Um, this is uh, Need for Speed Most Wanted. This is the game that I bought with Dishonored on our Black Friday. I paid full price for Dishonored, the $60, and I got this one for $1. Now, uh, right here, you, you're supposed to get away from the cops. When I saw this with the cop cars floating in the air, I was like, what kind of fucking game is this, man? This is weird. I was like, do I have some sort of power? Is this Akira? Am I Tetsuo? Uh, for those of you who've seen Akira, that Tetsuo had the damn telekinesis power and those little kids with really old faces, but then it went back to normal. I don't, I'm not going to talk. This game is cool. I mean, it's a racing game. It's, I got it for a dollar. What do you expect? It's a brand new game. But what I'm going to talk about is the NFL. As I jumped, I drove straight off a cliff. I'm not even sure why that's possible. But anyway, uh, since I'm not, I, I know a little bit about cars, but I'm not that much into cars. But what I do know a lot about is the NFL. Now, this weekend, we had some really good games. And these games affected my life both positively and negatively and the way that they affected my life is through fantasy football i started I, this is my first year doing fantasy football i always hear guys at work talking about it and it's all on tv they're always like well, it's on fantasy football you still have time well this year i was like screw it i'm just gonna sign up for it and it is amazingly the most joyful hectic frantic and stressful uh, hobby that I have ever uh, taken up and, and I mean to some people who have YouTube channels that are like fiercely competing for spots and subscribers I guess it could be the same way but for me I've become very comfortable in doing YouTube so and that that is fun for me it's just YouTube is fun for me this fantasy football is just it's really stressful because you have people that like you you're not playing okay you're not on a team you don't have whatever you pick people from every team in the league and you play them and you have a team in this league i went through nfl.com in my league we have a quarterback or two running backs two wide receivers a tight end a flex spot which is a, a receiver or a running back we have a kicker and a defense and i i did i have a pretty good i'm about to be uh five and four uh, at one point, I was like three and one, and then I went on a horrible, horrible losing streak. I lost one game by less than a point. If anybody who plays fantasy football, you understand how heartbreaking that is to lose by less of a point, less than a point. But let me go through my team and, and tell you exactly who I have. I have Drew Brees starting at quarterback. I started uh, I started Bryce Brown this week because he's also he he's a rookie from Philadelphia. And uh, he's just he, he started the game a couple weeks ago and he just went off from there. Doug Martin, another impressive rookie from Tampa Bay. Randall Cobb, a very solid receiver from Green Bay. Uh, Cecil or Cecil, I guess it's Cecil Cecil. I'm gonna say Cecil Cecil Shorts from uh, Jacksonville, who is not really. He's kind of emerged the past couple weeks as a really good receiver, but is more of a uh, what is it? He's he's he was a a gamble. I have Jimmy Graham, the starting, well, the tight end for for uh, the Saints, and uh, I start this week. I started uh, Jaquiz Rogers, the backup running back for the Falcons, and on the bench, I don't really. Uh, the only people that I've kept on my bench the whole year have been Owen Daniels and Matt Schaub. Everybody else is just, you know, they come and they go. Uh, this week, I picked up Lawrence Tynes, the kicker from the Giants. And I played the San Francisco 49ers defense. They played against Seattle. And I benched uh, the New England Patriots defense. And they played against uh, Miami. Okay. Uh, first of all, let me check and see how much time I have. Oh, I got enough time. Uh, New Orleans lost to Atlanta. Normally, Drew Brees is the most the, the, the most solid player on my team. Okay. He had like, what is it, 50-something 50, 50 games or 30-something games with a uh, touchdown pass. This game, that, that record was snapped. Like, he threw for five interceptions. Uh, uh, 3.64 points is what he got me. He normally gets me at least 10 points, and sometimes it's upwards of 17, 20, 24 points. Three points. I started in him. They played on Thursday, so him, Jimmy Graham, and Jacquez Rogers played. So... 
like I said, Drew Brees got me three points. Jimmy Graham gave me five points, and Jacquez Rogers got me three points right there. And I was going up against a guy that was six and one, you know, and uh, six and two or whatever. So I was like, man, I really need these guys to step up. And after Drew Brees had that terrible game, and Jimmy Graham and Jacquez Rogers had a mediocre game, I was like, I'm gonna lose. What happened was Bryce Brown really came through. And he had 169 yards and two touchdowns and 14 yards receiving. He lost a fumble, which didn't really hurt me that much because he got me 28 points. That was a big boost, the big boost that I needed. I, I was not happy that he did it against the Dallas Cowboys because I'm a Cowboys fan. Say what you want. I've heard all the Cowboys jokes. Uh, but I'm glad that he, he actually got me that many points. Doug Martin got me nine, nine points, just under 10 points. And he's really solid. I'm not going to bench him or anything. And Randall Cobb got me six points. Cecil Shorts. Cecil, C, what did I say it was good? Cecil, Cecil Shorts got me 13 points. And I think that was, uh, you know, junk time points or whatever. I don't know exactly when he got his touchdown. But, you know, I managed to squeak out this win. And the reason why I did it is because I got, I picked up Lawrence Tynes. Okay. And he got me 10 points tonight because the Giants played tonight. The guy that I was playing against, and I guess this is a guy. Yeah, his name is Kenneth, so that's a guy's name. If that's not a guy, then, you know, I'm, I'm crazy. Uh, what happened, this guy had a pretty solid team himself. He has Aaron Rodgers, Jamal Charles, Ben Jarvis Green Ellis, Victor Cruz, A.J. Green, Vernon Davis. It was weird that he kept Percy Harvin in his starting lineup because Percy Harvin is hurt. Of course, but um, oh, but he, I managed to squeak it out. He had the Pittsburgh Steelers defense and Sebastian Janikowski, the kicker from the Raiders. But I managed to win by uh, over 10 points on this guy, and I was just elated. Anyway, and, and this video was just something that I figured that I'd do. Because I was like, I have a Need for Speed video. What am I going to talk about? Need for Speed for eight minutes? No, I need, I need to figure out something else to talk about. So what do I do? I, I come up with something else to talk about because I'm so surprised and happy that I actually won the game because I needed to win man I'm four and four so I, I'm in our league that I came in late so we didn't have the whole the full season I missed like the, the first three or so games or whatever but I was outside looking in in the playoff picture so I needed to win this game and I need to win next week in order for me to actually make it into the playoffs in our league and the playoffs go for like the, the last two weeks of the season and pray for me you know, wish me luck that I can actually get into the playoffs and actually do good uh, because I need it. <laughs> you know, so uh, I guess next week I'll do another Need for Speed video and then I'll talk about what happened next week. If you have fantasy football, uh, let me know and uh, we'll discuss it. Uh, I'm not having it in the Game Caviar Studios. Thanks for all the support. I appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the comment section. I'm out. This has been a Game Caviar production. Like this video and subscribe for more.